Hey everyone, so today is Wednesday now and I am back in a lot of layers because it is, it's cold today. It's like in the 40s again. Um, I am at one of my favorite places, which is also the very first place that I have found Cortinarius and also Hidnellums, which are the mushrooms that give the blue the bluish greenish color that you all like so much so I am excited to be looking for more things today I feel like I don't have that many more days left of foraging ahead of me now that we are like in the second half of November so um, yeah the thing I have to watch out here it for here is horse poo because there are horses on these trails which is great these are actually trails that Walt Whitman walked when he was a kid and there's yeah there's um, he's got his houses nearby that he grew up in and everything so it's very cool so wish me luck I am I am very hopeful And a kitty cat. I've never seen a kitty cat out here before. Hmm. I wonder what this kitty's doing out here in the woods all alone by itself. Maybe I'll try to pet it. Let's see. Oh, poor thing. Hi, kitty. Hi. Oh, all right, so this kitty is so pretty, but I started going close to it and it started kind of backing away it's a little skeptical of me but over here we have a few things so right here we've got some turkey tail mushroom and it's the blue green kind so I haven't tried dying with turkey tail I hear that you need quite a lot of it especially to get any kind of color but um, I've made turkey tail tea before. Turkey tail is very, very healthy and it's medicinal. It is very good to take. And so there's some, there's a little uh, series. There's a series of stumps over here that has various turkey tail on it. So while I was over here looking for the kitty, I at least uh, found some turkey tail. So I'm going to see there's a bunch on this one right here. So and this is like the perfect place for turkey tail to grow. So this is an exciting find and I'm actually seeing some other things on these stumps too. So sometimes it just takes getting getting close to things. Um, I see some kinds of mushrooms growing over here. Um, I don't know what these are. These probably are not anything useful to me in terms of dyeing. So I'll take some pictures and try to identify them so that I can learn, but I'm gonna leave those alone. And then down here, down here, we've got some cool uh, bracket types of mushrooms. See if I can get a view of the underside at all on camera. For sure. So, um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what these are either, but I am going to use my app I've got a couple apps. I've got a mushroom app and I've got the Seek app, which is a National Geographic thing on my phone. I don't often get the most accurate results with the apps, but they do give me a really good place to start actual research to try to identify them through pictures and actually looking on more reputable sites and talking with other people that actually know more than I do. So it's, the apps are a great place to start. 
So yeah, I'm gonna collect some turkey tail and try to identify what these other things are. All right, so I grabbed one of these off the tree to try to identify it. And it seems like I have like some kind of white rot that's called like a Fomes fasciatus or something. Apparently it could give like browns. So, you know, I don't know. There's a lot of browns happening in the world. It's not the most exciting color, but it might be fun to just collect a couple of these and, you know, do an experiment, see what happens. Okay, so this guy is a Copernellus micaceous. I think I remembered that correctly, but I might be a little bit off. It's a mica cap. And it looks like that underneath. It's really, really cool. Um, apparently, this is a dye mushroom. It gives beiges, so I'm not really sure that it's really worth me collecting because it is a, oh, that's a really good shot of that. Because you usually need quite a bit of mushrooms and beige is not the most exciting color and there's just not that many of these here. So I'll probably just leave these be, but I'm excited to discover a new mushroom and actually get a really nice shot of this on film for you guys. So yeah, I'm finding all of these things on this log. So there's, see, there's just a few. There's not really that many. Um, so, but yeah, that's, it's really pretty. So, you know, you have to kind of make a judgment call sometimes. If this were gonna give an amazing color like purple or green or blue, you wanna collect every single little one. But I just don't think it's really worth it for beige. We'll see, it's really pretty to look at anyway. The turkey tail is one of the most beautiful mushrooms. It's really fun to find it so close to Thanksgiving too. So yeah, these are these are just have a great medicinal use. And I don't often see the blue-green variety here, so I'm definitely gonna snag some of this. I think I found a couple Cortinarius I am going to uh take some closer up pictures to be sure but I think we found a couple things all right yeah I saw one that was loose from the moss so I picked it up and it is for sure what we are looking for guys Cortinarius semi-sanguineus a surprise web cap so I see about three of them I'm gonna continue looking in this area and see if I can find any more but there's that one that was loose and there's that one there. They love these mossy areas. And there is one there. So they just, they're hidden. I mean, this is what, this is what this area looks like. I'm gonna back up a little bit and show you guys. So I love these trails because they're like partly underground and we have all of these mossy bits and then it goes way up there. So, I mean, they're, Mushrooms are, they're everywhere, but they are really, really hard to spot. You've got to look closely. So yeah, I'm going to check this area a bit more, see if I can find some more, but I'm pretty excited that I found a few to add to our stash. So I just found a new to me mushroom, a weeping willow, I think. Lacrimaria lamacrabunda or something. I got to look it up, but um, here, I'll turn the camera around. Hold on. So... A lacrimaria something or other, a weeping willow. I've never seen one of these before. It's toxic, but it says pinkish browns on the dye list, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. We'll see. It's pretty. So I'll probably see if there's any others, but yeah, super, super pretty. So I think that this is a stink horn mushroom little thing sticking out of the ground here. So zoom in on it a little bit more for you. So yeah, it's kind of a strange looking, kind of a strange looking thing. But I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that that's stink corn, but I'm not totally positive. So yeah, it's 
very interesting. Do you see what I see? Guys, there. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You guys see that? Cortinarius. Semi sanguineous. I love it. It's a beautiful one. It's a nice big one. I think this is the biggest one I have found. I'm gonna check out this area a little bit more. But yeah, do you guys see how they just, they blend in to the leaves. Do you see that? So this is a nice mossy area right here. So beautiful. This is, this is my happy spot. I might have to come back tomorrow and the day after. Loving it. So yeah, so that's, uh, that's where that mushroom is, right there. So I'm gonna try to clear some leaves away as well and see if we can find some more. That's a great, beautiful, fresh one. Guys, when I was clearing those leaves away, I found this. This is old, but this is a Cortinarius sanguineus, which is the full red version. It is old. These things are here. It is just so difficult to find them. So I'm having a little tiny bit of success, which just leads me a lot of hope that if I, if I keep looking, we shall find more. Hey guys, I'm not entirely sure what this thing is right here, but something tells me it might be a good dye mushroom. So it's pretty old kind of slimy, but I think, I think it's worth taking. Looks like somebody had a little camping spot. I don't think you're really allowed to camp in these woods, so not really sure how some chairs got out here, but yeah, little teepee, pretty cool. All right, should we go in? See any mushrooms in here though, so we're gonna go. Far out of the teepee. There's more chairs over there, some water bottles, people. Up. I found a little gnome house in this tree stump. How cute is that? It's pretty adorable. There's like a a faucet thing there. So cute. I just came across, I just came across another mushroom that I've never seen before. I think it might be a dyer, it might be a hyphaloma, something or other. But look at the underside. I have never seen one like this before. So I am definitely gonna bring this home and try to get some really good photos and see if I can get a proper ID on this. It's always fun when you discover something brand new. So yeah, this could this could be a dyer. We'll see. Check out this awesome feather I just found. I don't know what it is. It's not focusing. But Owen collects feathers. Yeah. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Does anybody know what kind of bird that is? So Owen collects feathers. That was his mission every time we went out on a foraging walk was for him to find feathers. So I have never seen this one before. So I think this is gonna be a new feather for Owen's collection. He's gonna be so excited. Owen's gonna be so excited about this cute little feather. 
I don't know what it is, but um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. So I think that this is a shaggy mane, a caprinus mushroom, a, uh, some kind of ink cap, and I think that this is, this is a young version, and I think that this one here that I found on the ground is a more mature version. So uh, I think some of the caprinus have dye qualities. It sure looks like it would, but I'm not positive. <laughs> Yeah, so this is a shaggy ink cap. Apparently, while this is in this stage, while it is very young and completely white, apparently this is edible. I, I will not be eating this, but yeah, I thought you guys might like to know. So I am just getting ready to head out and I just found something really cool. I know that some types of these can be dyers. I don't know if this is, but it looks so cool. This is almost glowing. So here is one of them. And oh, it is, it's so cool. I think it's a sulfur tuft, a hypo, hypo life. Uh, I'll, I'll insert the names of these things. I looked them up and then I can't remember them enough, long enough to pronounce them. But all right, I'm gonna show you guys a video of this huge cluster of mushrooms. Guys, check this out. I don't know that on camera you can see these glowing, but oh my gosh, in real life, these look neon yellow. These look so super cool. Definitely you can't see it on camera. I wonder if I back up a bit, um, if you can. Well, I'm gonna zoom in for a minute. But, oh, there's an ant. See that ant? So these are just at the base of a tree. And there's a whole, there is a whole big cluster of them. So, I, can you guys see them glowing? I think that's a better, a better picture. I am gonna back up a little bit, in, but I am backing up. Can you guys see that neon yellow? How glorious that is. I am just blown away right now. It's like, uh, it's, it's as if this thing is glowing in the dark. So I wonder if this is a bioluminescent mushroom. I don't know, but I think that these are dyers. So that is really exciting. Let me zoom back in. More. Just want to see if you guys can see that they're glowing. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. So yeah, these are right by the entrance, but I'm going out a different way. And so I didn't see them when I came in because I came in a different way. But all right, I just had to share that with you guys. Let's see if I can get an underneath shot close up. Yeah, if I go too close like this, I can get you get a good shot, but you can't see them glowing. So let me zoom. Let me zoom out again. All right, apologies for my camera work. Can't quite get under, but these are gorgeous. There's a couple more. Oh, there we go. There's a couple more right here. Oops. So, So beautiful. All right. This is really exciting. Yeah, I think that these have some kind of bioluminescent quality to them. Ah, oh, I can't wait to learn about these. I love seeing new mushrooms in the wild. Okay, 
they're definitely glowing. They're like glow in the dark. Oh my gosh. All right. Ah, so excited. <laughs> my cat sits like this on me. <laughs> so it can be a little hard to get knitting done. <laughs> Hey, you ready to get down? Or do you want to stay? Hey. I'm working on a hat for me. I don't remember the name of the pattern. I want to say like slouchy farmer's hat maybe. This is with some Long Island. Oh, bye Sam. This is with some Long Island yarn and farm that I got last year when Tabitha had a, sometimes on Fridays she'll do like a Instagram sales on things that are not in her shop but are in her, um, I don't know, like they're either odd quantities of yarn or they're, they're like, I think this was a one of a kind and that's why I think they were designing a yarn or something. So yeah, it was a one of a kind and she stuck it up on Instagram and um, yeah, I snagged it. I think she had two different ones, but they were each one of a kind. So yeah, so um, I thought that I would knit myself up a, a quick hat. So here's what it's looking like so far. I'll probably show this on the podcast today. But uh, yeah, so it's got like a really long one by one ribbing and then now we're in some stockinette for like four inches and then yeah. Cute little pumpkin stitch marker is from Katrinkles and I got that. I don't think it was last year. I think it was two years ago I ordered the Halloween. It was like in October. Uh, stitch marker set so it had this one and it had like a glow-in-the-dark ghost and then I think some wooden ones in there too so yeah I just wanted to knit a little bit with my cat so you see what I deal with sometimes <laughs> it's almost like having a child okay see you later